Hey guys, me Steve, Cliff and Shoot Chevrolet, and today I'm in the parts department to talk to you about our top five accessories that we sell for the Chevy Silverado here at Cliff and Shoot Chevrolet. Let's go. The Silverado Accessories video is the most popular video I do on YouTube. And today we're going to go from five to our number one seller here at Cliff and Shoot Chevrolet on the top five accessories for your Chevy Silverado. And we've had a change since we've done our last one back in 2021. Before I get to the top five, it's been a while since I've introduced who I am, what this is. So my name is Steve Jacobson. I'm a sales consultant here at Cliff and Shoot Chevrolet located in Alpena, Michigan. We are about three hours north of Detroit. We're right here. So we are about three hours from Detroit, about an hour and a half from the bridge. We are a three generation and own dealership that is here in Alpena. I have been probably selling Chevrolets for over 10 years now here at this dealership. So it started as me taking pictures on off days for the internet, morphed into video, and yet here we are. Now I'm doing this YouTube channel and not to only help our customers and other customers that might have questions about the Chevrolet lineup, but I also do enjoy it and having interaction with other salesmen, Chevrolet salesmen that are selling vehicles for them to use this as a resource to help, you know, make them a little bit better and maybe help them sell a Chevrolet. One of my favorite things about working here at Cliff and Chevrolet is our commitment to our community in Northeast Michigan. I am take pride in being very involved in it and I love the fact that this dealership that's been here for over 50 years now really supports and gives back to the community that supports it. So enough of that. Now you know a little bit about me for those of you that are new to the channel. Let's get to the five accessories. All right so coming in at number five are mud flaps. Mud flaps, kind of a basic thing for your truck, but what it does, other than protect it from mud and dirt, a lot of rock protection from kicking up and then scratching your paint. Chips can also start creating rust bubbles and all those fun things that we know will happen that you want to avoid with your truck. Also, those of you who haven't been to the Chevrolet website, you're gonna see that Chevrolet now has custom mud flaps depending on your truck. So like Trail Boss ones, High Country ones, I think Z71 ones, and of course, plain ones here. But for the price point, mud flaps are relatively inexpensive and for the amount of protection that you get for your pickup really probably is the best bang for the buck accessory for your Chevy Silverado. Number four, tonneau covers. You got hard ones, you got soft ones, you got fold up ones, you got roll up ones, you have locking ones. You have the clamshell ones. There are so many different types of tonneau covers that suit your needs. Um, for those that need security, like that carry expensive construction equipment, you probably want a, a hard locking one. Uh, those that just want some protection from the elements but still want the functionality of their pickup, we're really big fans of the soft roll up one here. You can just pop the button, roll it up, and then, then up you go and you still have really the, the full capabilities of your Silverado. So tonneau cover just coming in at number four. They could be kind of expensive, but really utility of having protection from the elements and still the utility of using the bed for larger, bigger things. Uh, so yeah, number four, tonneau covers. Number three. girls are dusty. Hang on. All right, number three, step tubes. Kind of another obvious choice for your Chevy Silverado. However, the thing that I really have found with selling step tubes for trucks, it's one of those things that really the customer kind of is picky about. And what I mean by that is it's a way to kind of set your pickup apart from the other trucks that are on the road. You can go with just a basic black one like this. You can go with a chrome one, go with round ones, oval ones, ones with cleats, ones that are aggressive. Uh, we They even make like for the, like the ZR2 rock rails that go underneath. So there's a lot of different options for your truck with a step tube. Also, I think it really is a case by case basis. I know I just sold a customer the other day who's, um, he was about my height, you know, dreaming for that six foot height that never came and then uh but his wife was considerably shorter and and the trucks silverados especially through quarter have not gotten lower to the ground by any stretch of the imagination so 
having the step tube to help get inside of it can be almost a necessity for your customers. So step tubes, by far one of the things that we sell the most of here at Cliff Angie Chipotle. Number two, wheelhouse liners coming in at number two. And the God honest truth is this wasn't an issue a couple years ago with the Silverado. I do know that this particular, whether the felt ones are on back order, we've done a lot of the plastic ones uh, to supplement the felt ones that you order the rigid ones. So a lot of these have been non-constrained and on back order. So I think that, that has a lot to do with why they're not putting them in the rear of the truck. I do know like on the Equinox a couple months ago, couldn't sell the Equinox until they had the wheel liners in them. So rear wheel house liners, especially in the, in the back, they're relatively inexpensive and they really do pull, put a more protection for your truck. The only gripe I have about these is with the carpeted ones is if you live on a dirt road, it's like a magnet. They just, it's like a sponge for mud. Um, they do clean up well. You take a power washer and wash them all out. This has definitely by far been one of our newer top five accessories that we sell here at Cliff and Chief Chevrolet. Just from the simple fact that they have been removed from the truck and what used to always be on there prior to the past couple of years. So hang on, we'll go with number one. Number one. It's not a surprise. Ah. Uh, floor liners, floor mats, but primarily floor liners. Probably what, 2018 Chevrolet decided, you guys probably know WeatherTech was a well-known weather mat company. Um, and then right around 2018, Chevrolet decided, got hip to the game and decided making their own. Right along that time, Chevrolet came out with their My Rewards program. That's changed throughout the years and that could be a video for another time, but usually roughly it's been at about $100 when you buy a new Chevrolet. And a lot of customers have opted to use the $100 for these mats here. Doesn't matter whether it's the Equinox, Traverse, Silverado, they're about 125 bucks for the front of your vehicle. And really they mold right to the vehicle. They're laser cut, they're durable. You can pull them out, you can wash them. And the wear and tear they save on the interior of your vehicle is second to none. Definitely this is by far the number one accessory we probably sell here at Cliff Inch Chevrolet, whether it's an Equinox, Silverado, but definitely for what we're doing here today, the Silverado, all other floor mats are it, and it's not even close. So that is it, and it really has, to, some of it has to do with the My Rewards program, but which you can use for the rear wheel house liner, the mud flaps, all that $100, and all these, those three things are all about 100, right around $100, $150 installed. So those are the top five accessories. Let's wrap it up. So lastly, I know that there are lots of options for you to buy accessories all over the place. There's Amazon, I'm sure you can get mats at Walmart. Uh, we have a competitor right down the road from us. But something that it's good to understand, any accessory that you buy from us here at Cliff Industry Chevrolet, or that's a GM accessory that we, you know, certified accessory that we install onto your vehicle that is fixed. It comes with a 12 month unlimited mile warranty. So for those, that first year, for the long, how many miles you put on your truck? So like step tubes, the warehouse liners, the tunnel cover and the mud flaps all are under that 12 month warranty, unlimited miles right here. We can't fix it, we replace it. That's on GM. There isn't an advantage to having it done here. And of course, when you do it through us, if you do it, you know, as you're getting ready to purchase your truck, we'll, you know, we install it and then we'll have it all ready for when you pick up your vehicle. Of course, you can always come in and pass. It's just this last year, I've had a couple people call me on, you know, the last week of Christmas and wanted to know what gift to get their you know, father-in-law or their brother, and a lot of them opt either the floor mats or a gift certificate here at Cliff and Street Chevrolet. So accessories for a vehicle is definitely a market that General Motors is focusing on. Definitely will for the foreseeable future. So that's our top five accessories video. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Were you surprised? Those of you that probably have followed along with the Silverado probably aren't surprised that those liners are now part of the top five accessories. If you have any ideas or anything that you think should be in, feel free to drop it in the comments below. And while you're down there, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe for more Chevrolet content. Thought about doing it in another video. I don't know how I'll do it, but 
buying like $500 worth of accessories for a truck on Amazon and then trying them out and just letting you know what's crap. Let's see if we'll try that. We also have videos coming on some vehicles down the road. I have the Traverse coming in for a friend that I plan on doing a walk around. We have a white C8 on our floor. I plan on doing um, two demos on that one all the buttons in the driver information center so I'm going to break down that menu for you and then also in the radio so we're going to go through that it's going to be a little bit of two lengthy videos we'll definitely break them up into two but I think it'd be a great reference for you the customer and other salespeople to just want to know what's going on I appreciate you guys tuning in talk to you on the next one